we have a 2015 Mobile Suites DRV and we have a nice large garage with a mole ride pull out tray but we don't have any place to put our TV out here so currently we've been propping up our TV right here and putting a couple of towels underneath it so that the speakers at the bottom of the TV can be heard and then we have to run all these wires and whatnot for the um, antenna and use a Wally box and reset it all and it has to go searching for everything so we're like okay we gotta come up with something better so Dave's got a project so we got a 20 a 40 inch LED TV flat screen now what you thinking about doing Dave why don't you explain what you're gonna do here well yeah, good luck. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this goes on the back. This is the top here, right? Right. And then this hinge this goes top. on here and it bolts to the door. The hinge screws to the door, so when the door closes, the hinge comes down like that, and the TV's hidden, and when the door opens up, the TV dangles from the door, like this. Can you take that over here and show us what door you're talking about? Let's get screwed to this. And that'll be the TV, and then when, as the door closes, the TV closes up against the door. Oh. Like that. Door oh. opens, boom, TV's there. And then I'll have a, a bungee cord going from here around the TV and back down to here to tie it up. When you're traveling? Or if, just get it out of your way if you want to get something out of here oh, okay. also. Oh. So give us the details. What I did. Took these strips of aluminum. They're one inch by one uh, three sixteenths, and I took them, drilled the holes, the mounts, and then I bent them so they'd reach out over the front of the TV and hook to the door. As you can see, this one right here with the hinge on it. It's just flopping around in there. I don't have it screwed down real good. And the door, when it's closed, will be like that. This will be the door hanging down in front of the TV, but when it's open, it'll be like that. Okay. And these holes were already... Those, yeah, those mounts are already in the back of the TV. Is that for like a mount that you would do wall for mount. a wall? Yeah. Oh, so you just use the ones that were already there and bought some screws? Well, I, I sure did. Okay. So you just got drill bits on the good old Sawzall. You're cutting the aluminum with the Sawzall, huh? Yeah. You got it just the length. You cut off the excess here so that that could bend, didn't you? Yep. So the screws aren't quite right. What are you going to do? I'm making spacers. Notice that you put a screw in from one way and then the other way. Why is that? Uh, it keeps them more balanced and tighter, less of a chance of it coming loose. Yeah. A little bouncy with the aluminum. So I'm thinking if uh, we ever change it because it's too bouncy, we'll just use steel. Okay. But I think it'll work fine. Right now, I'm going to try to step on the cord. And then I 
them out right up here, like this. Where my lovely assistant is going to help me. Okay. Okay, what would you like me to do? Well, I'm going to have to hold the TV up, at least this side of it. Okay. And i got to get this screw gun and a screw. Right here. Um, See, that didn't work out. That plan we had that we wanted to hang the TV from up here, it's not going to work. It failed. You got three little holes there. This is just like a really heavy duty styrofoam. He thought it was wood because it sounds and feels like wood, but it's not. So now we got to go to plan B. So. Plan B, I see you just to put, turn your brackets completely around on this TV. What do you what are you thinking up here? Well, I'm gonna have a little where it slides inside that drawer and there'll be a little bracket in there these slide into. So it's actually it's not gonna be hanging anymore. Nope. It's gonna be hanging it's gonna be sitting, sitting in brackets on the end of the mole ride tray. Right. Okay, well we'll see how that goes then. Plan B. Plan B. So you went and got some steel? No. Nope. This aluminum. aluminum. So you're gonna drill holes in this L-shaped aluminum. And you're just gonna go back through the old holes that you have from the other piece, and that's gonna this piece is gonna go bye-bye. That piece is going bye-bye. Okay. Put your lock nuts and your screws and spacers that you had cut from plan A and use those for plan B. Mm -hmm. So now you got the angle iron on the back of the TV hanging down the bottom about five inches. What are you doing? Cutting it till I'm marking it for length. Okay, and you got two of them, right? Two of them. You getting the burrs off? Mm -hmm. An inch. So what you doing now? Measuring down an inch so I can... And the other line was, you drew what, about a half inch in? Yeah. About uh, three eighths. So we got an inch on each end. Mm -hmm. So those are going to be what goes on the mow ride, yep. right? Yep. Okay. Drilling your holes. All four of them. Two in each piece. Figure out where this TV is going to go. <clears throat> you want it kind of like that, right? What's that? Yeah. Alright. Now you could come down a couple of inches. I just, I want you to be able to get your arm in there. If you need to and you don't want to have to you gotta hold it, move it. Alright, you holding it? You're not holding it. Okay, gotta come around the other side. That's just a random piece that you left over. Yeah. Alright. And now this goes on there about like that. Is that where that little line was that you drew? 
Yeah. So you, that way you got enough space to put your holes in and... That's what I'm dreaming about. So what you go? What are you doing here? What it is is the spacer. Got a screw through and shooting through the face of it, a bolt. And I put a nut on the back and the nuts the spacer between the two plates to give me a gap. Okay. And then I'll put another nut right here on here to torque it all in. Okay. Oh, sweet. I mean, it, it'll flop around a little bit. But I think it'll be all right. Now. I don't want it real tight. I don't want to be able to get it out of there. So you can either pack it up in the box when you leave, or you could just leave it in there if you want to. Yeah, let's see. Will it close is the question. That's right on the money. Probably put a cover over a piece of foam around it. Yeah, something blanket. Oh, look at that. Wadi da da. Ooh la la. Wadi da da. And there's the TV. You need something out from behind it? Just pull the tray out and get it. If you need to remove it, there it is. And then you got your power. And all your cords mm -hmm. right there. Of course, you won't watch it while it's sticking out. You'll have it pushed in. Yep. Because a basement door will help with the uh, sun a little bit. Okay. I'm just plugging in the power for the TV. Plugs in right there. And then you got the yellow, white, and red, which the yellow one doesn't look like it's in very good. No. And then. You have some connections you have to make down here. You have the video and the two audios. Now this will automatically tie in to whatever is being watched on the television inside. On right? a satellite dish. But we have found that if we bring the remote control for the satellite dish out here, it works all the way out here. Yeah. And we could do it just by pointing at this TV. Now, where's the remote? Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah. somewhere around. My hand. <laughs> it's in my hand. It's in your hand. All right, see if it works. Hey! hey. Online, personal style. High five. Plan A, what would that cost somebody if they were able to actually tie it into the... Plan A was 28 here. bucks. 28 bucks. What did this one run you? 29. Oh. So for under 30 bucks, you can have your TV outside? Yep. My style, my fit, delivered right to my door. Sign up at Stitch Nice job, Dave. Damn right. That was two thumbs up. So how long did it take you to do this, Dave? The second go around? Yeah. Second go around about an hour. Okay. And it costs about under 30 bucks and uh. Under 30 bucks and about three beers. All right. 